the MP who gave same-sex couples the right to marry is resigning from Parliament. Louisa Wall announced the end to her 14-year political career today. Our political editor, Jenna Lynch, has more. A parliament filled with love. Yeah. Erupting in song as New Zealand passed the Marriage Equality Bill in 2013. A law crafted by Louisa Wall, allowing same-sex couples the right to marry. It was an historic moment and Louisa has been a part of many historic moments in this place. Wall today casting her political career to the history books, calling time on 14 years as an MP. Her career has meant that people's lives are better as a result. And not everyone who comes into this place can hand on heart say that. Politics wasn't Wall's first foray into public life, becoming a silver fern age 17 before switching codes becoming a black fern. We're going to have to make sure that we make the most of this opportunity. Wall also made the best of her opportunity in Parliament, though despite being elected in 2008, the same year as Jacinda Ardern, Wall was overlooked as a minister. That's not my decision. There will be um, members of Parliament across their careers who will have hoped to have taken on different roles in their time. The Labour Party didn't reward her either. Wall stepped aside from running in her Manurewa seat last year after an ugly internal battle that saw Arena Williams selected for the seat instead. Wall pointed to this in her resignation statement. Did she get a fair deal from the Labour Party? Absolutely. She's been a member of our Labour Fano for 14 years. Not one to toe the party line, Wall got herself in the odd touch of trouble, most recently speaking out about human rights abuses in China. And it's now forced all than harvesting. And, and it's happening. Even without the ministerial baubles, her legislative record is miles long, as well as same-sex marriage, all shepherded through laws tackling revenge porn, instating safe zones free from protest around abortion clinics, and most recently, getting little Paige Harris's mum's name on her birth certificate. Actually quite a remarkably effective Member of Parliament. You know, it's been a pretty impressive career and so I hope she leaves here feeling pretty proud of what she's achieved. I, I love Louisa Wall. Uh, look, she's a colourful maverick, the kind of person that every Parliament needs. A hard-working maverick respected across the political spectrum. Well, kia ora, Jenna. So in some other news from Parliament, the Speaker wants to introduce an independent monitor for MPs. Yeah, very separately to Louisa Wall's resignation, Trevor Miller wants to set up a sort of watchdog or parliamentary commissioner to keep an eye on MPs' behaviour. This was one of the recommendations of the bullying and harassment review completed back in 2019. Basically, this watchdog would have the ability to investigate MPs if there was any suggestion that they may have breached the parliamentary code of conduct that they all signed up to in the wake of that review. If an MP was found to have breached that code, then the watchdog could write up a public report, table that in the Parliament, which would likely spell the end of a political career. This is all aimed at in, uh, increasing transparency and adding an extra layer of accountability to what has been a toxic work environment. Jenna, thank you.